Hello and welcome to our channel, How We Move the Decimal, and I promised that I would make a video on how I list all of my vintage slides. So in this video, I've already photographed the slides, and you can look at my previous videos in which I've shown that, but I'd already photographed the slides and I had put the photographs in the listing. So now I'm going through and putting all of the details. So right now it's vintage photograph slides, Florida, 1975, Walt Disney World. I have to go sh through and make sure I sometimes I will list them as collectible sometimes I will list them as slides depending on what they are these were Walt Disney World slides so I know that they would go for more maybe in a Disney collector forum versus a slide forum so that's why I put them there also with this um, as you go see me go through I did delete one of the photos and that was the photo with the name and tell me what it is. I always upload that because quite frankly all side slides look the same. So I will upload my name card or place card or whatever when I do upload the videos, but I will delete that before I upload the photos of the slides. I try to add more description in the slides, especially when it comes to vintage slides. With these I've gone back and forth on whether I want to put my digitals in the eBay listings and I did have an issue where someone had stolen one of my slide pictures that I did not watermark and eBay can have issues with you watermarking pictures because you're technically putting a message in the picture so I don't want to get dinged by eBay for watermarking the picture but I also don't want my picture stolen so I know that the photos that I'm not that I'm uploading are not the best quality and quite frankly I've had people email me and like basically say how can you charge this much for slides they're so blurry. Well, I don't want to upload the best quality pictures because I have experienced them being stolen in the past and I really don't want people to steal them. I've gone back and forth on whether to put that in the description like photos may seem fuzzy to prevent theft. Our photos may be clearer, but honestly, I think if somebody really wants the photos, they can message me about it, um, or they can understand that, you know, they're not going to be the best quality having, you know, taking a picture of them on a tracing board with a DSLR camera versus going through and digitally converting them where it is much more clear with the digital conversion but again that can lead to photo theft and I'm not willing to go with that and a lot of people do buy the slides because they are getting the originals they are getting essentially the rights to these pictures and can reprint them because these are the originals and I've also had people message me and basically call me essentially like a grave digger like this is morbid you're making money off of other people's memories or a memory collector or like all this stuff and I don't want to be crass but a lot of times these are just thrown in the garbage so if I'm not looking at them if I'm not selling them they're just going to be trash and if I can make money off of it I'm going to I'm not I now that being said I do take sometimes I will take some photos out if I think they are inappropriate or if I think that they're too personal I will take those photos out and I will not sell them in the lot but otherwise I think it's free game if people didn't want these sold they shouldn't donate them to thrift stores or auction houses or estate sales all of the slides that I'm listing right now, we got at an estate sale and I paid $10 for all of the slides in the house. Now that's great. That's a great price, but I'm putting hours and hours of work into these. It can take me four hours to photograph 200 slides and go through them and make sure there's no mold, make sure they're all together. So I, you know, you could have the argument, you, you know, you paid so little for them. How, you know, why are you selling them for so much? But we can say that about anything that we thrift, but there is hours of work going into this. I look at every single slide. I am not, <clears throat> sorry, I'm still recovering from being sick. I am not listing blank boxes. Like I, I look at everything. 
I go through everything. And if I can't discern it well, I will digitally convert it to look at it. And you can look at my past videos I've made about photographing slides because I will put the digitals that I've converted. They're usually at the end of the videos and you can see the difference in the quality between what I'm taking with my camera on a tracing board that I got off of Amazon for $15 versus what happens when I put it to the digital converter. And I don't even have an expensive digital converter. I have the medium range. So when I bought it, I bought it on Prime Day, and I recommend if you're going to buy anything off of Amazon to wait for Prime Day, but I did buy it on Prime Day for around $100, our digital converter. I think right now it's close to $200 because of inflation and, you know, not Prime Day. What I want to point out with these, and I like to point out that sometimes slides are discolor. These have started to, started to redden, but... I will still list them. I just make sure that you can tell that they have started started to redden and turn color change. From the slides I've looked at and I've had experience with, granted I am not some huge knowledge of slides with a lot of experience, but the Kodak Kodachromes tend to um, keep longer than the other slides I've seen. Like the ectochrome slides just don't last as much. They tend to turn red quicker. A lot of the souvenir slides that um, like national parks would have slides made. So instead of like a postcard, you could buy a pack of slides. They're super cool, but man, they fade fast. They'll turn red, they turn yellow. Sometimes they just turn black. And sometimes slides aren't stored properly. I will say that my husband had an asthma attack when we were getting these slides. They were stored in a very moisture heavy area. So some of the slides have just been too um, deteriorated to even list and or too warped. One of the things that kind of hurts my heart is the these people obviously photographed everything and they traveled so much and they obviously looked at these slides a lot. A lot of these slides have um, bulb marks. So if they've been through the slide projector, the heat from the bulb can discolor the paper around the slide. And a lot of these slides have paper discoloration where they've been used with the bulb a lot, which is like sad and happy at the same time they enjoyed them, but they were essentially being thrown away at their estate sale. These are also long haul items. I'm not selling these right away. People aren't like, oh my gosh. I will say recently though, I've ha I've sold a more slides than normal on eBay recently. And I don't know if that's maybe because I've been listing more slides. So the more you list, the more you sell. The, but I have seen, sorry, I'm yawning. I've seen an uptick in the slides. And if you can tell in the background, you can hear the frogs. So we have a pond in our backyard and in another video I recorded earlier today, the geese were just attacking each other. And right now I'm recording this at night with the windows open and you can hear the frogs, which is kind of soothing. So maybe I should do an ASMR channel and just have the frogs at night. Um, but it's really easy once I get in the groove. Like I've talked before in my previous videos, I batch. I do everything in batches. So I batch photograph, I batch list. And if I'm listing slides, I will list only slides for that day. And I can list a lot faster. It just goes so much faster once I'm in the groove of listing slides, when I know what category to have it in. I write down everything. I have like a need five-star notebook, just a spiral notebook that I write everything down in. And sometimes I'll put it in a Word document so I can cut and paste. And sometimes I'll just type it. I'm fairly quick at typing. I'm not like crazy quick um, at doing it on my phone, but on a computer, I can type quite fast. On my phone, I'm still like one finger pecking when it comes to listing. So I don't like to use the app on my phone because I'm just not that proficient at listing on there versus listing on my computer where I'm much more proficient at typing. So that, and then my husband prefers to list on his phone because he doesn't want to have to store it and do steps and I don't like listing on my phone. So stepwise, what I do with this is I will batch photograph slides. I will usually do like a weekend, one or two days, spend four hours each day, four to six hours 
just photographing slides and it does take me a long time because I do sort the slides and I do go through and look at every single slide on the tracing board. And then once I've listed that or once I've pho photographed them, I will digitally scan them. And then I will go through and do all of the photographs that day. I may photograph a box of slides. I have several 12 by 12 boxes full of slides that I just haven't gotten to yet, but I usually pull up a box. So that one box, that one 12 by 12 box of slides could take me up to eight hours to photograph and list, or just, just to photograph and go through and photograph and I still may not photograph all of them, especially if I've pulled them out. I will pull souvenir slides out and sell them as a lot. I will pull scenery slides or flowers. Uh, one of the members of this family, I'm going to go with the wife, love to take pictures of just random roses. So I tend to pull those out of like souvenir lots and I will just sell like lots of flowers, like 200 flowers or 200 scenery or 200 animals so I will lot all those together and pull them out of like a Disney lot because someone who's buying it for Disney World they're not going to want random rows that could come from anywhere so I do pull those out so they might not even get listed but it can take me up to eight hours to photograph maybe 500 slides 600 slides and then once they're all photographed, I label them all, put them back into boxes or um, like Ziploc bags. So the boxes inside Ziploc bags with the labels on them so I can find them. Again, all slides look alike. So once they sell, I need to be able to find them. So I usually have a numerical system. And but I am very unorganized in my numerical system and I just randomly pick numbers. So there's no order to it. So I'm not like you know, 1 to 50. No, I'm like 100, 725, which is probably not going to work out in the long run, but that's, that's going to be on me. So I will do all the photographing and then I will save all the photos to my computer and I will go through them and I will write down all the details. So I've already photographed all of them and I'm going through them. I'm writing the details down off of the name card that you see me deleting in all of these photos. So it's like the amount, the, where we put like the number to find them and like any descriptor. So like Disney World 1975 would be on there and we do all of that. So it's easier to find. This one would be a lot of 20 vintage slides, 1973 people and parade. And so when I go to look for it, I'll be like the title and then whatever reference number I've given it. And usually if I've listed them in together, they will all be in a box together for me to find or in a drawer. Like we have a drawer system and I can just pull out the drawer and find that. I keep all the boxes too, even if I've emptied them. So if the slides were bad or I've lotted them together in another way and I have random empty boxes, I will keep those in case I need them for shipping. So I have all of that. And the small eBay 4x4x4 four by four by four boxes also work very well. I can put the slides in that and then put that inside a padded envelope and it tends to go very well. I was originally shipping them out in the carousels and that was just too expensive. Some carousels do sell though, so I keep the carousels and lot them all in a large lot. I have not listed those yet, but I do have empty carousels that I do lot together. And thank you for watching my video and I hope you come back and watch some more.